guys, Jessica Henry here on YouTube. Happy to see you. Um, I am here at a park and you can hear they're mowing the lawns, doing all kinds of stuff. This is actually where I was last week and it was really cold and windy down here by the water. But today it is a gorgeous day. And so I just wanted to show you, I was asked um, to show my setup last week. So that's what I'm gonna show you here. Um, what The way I do these videos is I have a special tripod off to the side that has um, a special little clip right here that holds my camera and that is always positioned so that hopefully you can see what it is I'm painting as well as my canvas and palette. So this is my setup here. As I have that you can see my backpack down there that I carry everything in and then I've got um, my little stool down off to the side and I just keep my can of pop or whatever you know. Um, it's actually LaCroix spring water. <laughs> um, anyway so brushes and all that. So this is my setup here. So this is uh, my tripod here and I'll show you on the back. My The wooden box comes with um, the tripod, or actually you can buy it separately or with. This is an open box M design uh, planner easel and it clamps to the tripod right here and I can adjust the angle of that. And then um, this is my setup. So as you saw, the canvas is held on by spring-loaded prongs here. And this is just an 8x10 gessoed panel today. Um, then this is my paint box, the colors. These are called push shots, in case you weren't sure. <laughs> um, so for colors that I have out today are titanium white, yellow, excuse me, cad yellow medium, and some cad yellow lemon. I just thought I'd try it today. I may use it, I may not. I have some yellow ochre, burnt sienna, ultramarine blue. And I have these on from last week, the uh, cobalt blue and um, cerulean blue. And then I have some phthalo green and some alizarin crimson. Off to the side here, this little attachment clips into the back, but I have it, then you can attach it to the side. I just have my little uh, container of linseed oil. And then over here, I have my little bucket of Gamsaw. So that is it. That is how I get this going. And I'm gonna put the camera right back here so that you can see everything. I'm gonna paint this spring blossom tree over here and I'm gonna put it just really simple on my canvas. I don't know how much of the background I'm gonna do because I really don't wanna spend all day working on all of those little details. For plein air studies anyway, you wanna just keep it fairly simple. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna start out, where's my napkins? Here. Um, I'm still here. <laughs> so I've got my paper towels here and going to kind of position this a little bit more and I hope that you can see everything. I'm going to be facing this way so I won't be able to see very many of your comments but um, I'll get to them afterwards. And so I'm going to just put a quick tone over my canvas here. Ultramarine blue, um, maybe a little bit of yellow ochre, some of that yellow. Just making a neutral green and then I'm not going to put a lot of that background in there but I'll put the tree on here and then I might just suggest a little bit of the background just to help really focus on the tree. I think a lot of people have um, struggled with that. I've gotten a lot of letters. How do you paint you know, spring trees? It can get overwhelming. So let's focus on just that today. So to do that I'm going to start with this darker background over which I'll paint the tree. such a beautiful day. It's so different than it was last week. And this is just a thinned down mixture with um, uh, with the Gamsaw. And there was some alizarin crimson on my finger when I was setting this up. So, <laughs> so we have some violets in there. It's okay. You can work with that. We're mowing the lawns over here, so that's what you're probably hearing. Of anything goes we're just gonna keep a really simple that's too bright I just for my own personal taste I don't love it that bright Put that like that Lake Erie is very calm today it was pretty wild last week of course not compared to the ocean which can get very wild <laughs> all right so now that's really slick and I couldn't paint on that at this moment. It would, the paint would just slide all over. So I take my paper towel and I kind of wipe some of it off. So I make them a Okay, that's kind of pretty. And 
the emphasis here is not so much to create a full size, full, fully realized painting. It's just going to be a study today of the tree. And you can see it's, uh, where am I? <laughs> that one right there. have another rich bag for my napkins or paper towels that I use up. I'm going to shove some of this in my pocket so I just have them ready. Now I'm going to grab my smaller brush. This is my size 2, just a bristle. I'm going to jump into getting a little bit of that darker, um, just a darker mixture. I want to just draw in the, the bones of the tree, the basic structure. Just a little burnt sienna, ultramarine blue. I hope you can see that on there. Just looking at the overall angle of the trunk and where I want to go with this. Keeping my brush very loose. If I did in about this spectrum, then I think it'll kind of make an attractive little study. I'm looking at the overall ratio too. I don't, obviously I'm not going to be able to fit the whole tree on here, but maybe we'll let some of it just go off. I want to get that umbrella effect like this. Okay, so that's kind of just where you start with that, and then I'm going to go in and get the drawing a little bit more accurate here. And I didn't start out with the thumbnail sketch today because this is just a study of the tree. So the way I did that is um, I just gently drugged the brush down, letting it pause as I was checking back there just the angles and the subtleties of the branches as they come down. And then where it got a little bit thicker, I just applied a little more pressure onto the brush. I'm press, starting out pressing heavier, and then I'll just lighten as I go up and through the tree, like that. And I want this a little bit more. Oh yeah, I just started the... <laughs> Would you like me to pose somewhere? Yeah. That's <laughs> uh, good. Thank yeah. you. Just doing this little study. Nice day for it. It yeah. is beautiful. I was here last week and it was windy and cold. <laughs> yeah, very nice today. Yeah. So I'm going to let that just fade and because there's blossoms in the way, I'm not worried about what's happening there. Okay. I'm only really just going to focus on the ones that I can see and uh, get those in place. on my paint here. This one has this lovely
doesn't have to be exact, but you want to get the character of the tree. What I love about trees is that they get this bounced light down low here and then they get dark, the branches all get dark right around in this area. 